In this video, I'm going to share my experience over the last one year and two months dealing with Alienware pre-built PCs and a summary of the correspondence back and forth between me and Dell representatives. I do want to make very clear what my opinion with Alienware desktops and laptops are. Do I recommend them now? Have I ever recommended them in the past? Do I recommend buying a pre-built period or should you build a PC? Which we're doing right now on the channel, by the way. Then at the end of the video, I want to address some harebrained statements I've seen down in the comments section on some of my Alienware videos. Let's get it. This topic is exhausting and really put her to sleep. So on February 12th, 2021, which is a year and two months ago, I announced that I was selling my custom built PC that was the first gaming PC I had built piece by piece, part by part. I was selling that PC to partially compensate the purchase price of an Alienware R11 with a 10th generation i7, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a thousand watt power supply and a 3080. And that applies to business, YouTube, anything like that. Please come back on, sir. Thank you very much. Only real way to do it, I've made several videos here recently, is to either pay a scalper astronomical prices. The average price on eBay is about $1,750. That is a $700 card. So that is uh, well over double. It's a 100% plus increase in the asking price. That's ridiculous. Not to mention you're dealing with someone extremely scammy and shady that might send you an empty box. And even with things like eBay's uh, buyer protection, I've showed you guys screen recording on a video here recently, me looking through the fine print. Sure enough, if it says sale is final, which all of them do say, they could send you a turd in a box and you're basically munching down on that sucker because you're not going to get your money back. Not to mention, not only did you just waste your money, but more importantly, you wasted your time, which I say all the time is more important than money because you can be making money with your time or doing things that you like to do in your free time, spending time with your loved ones, petting your dog, kicking noobs asses in video games. I explained in that video that the primary reason I was buying a pre-built period and why I actually ended up with Dell's Alienware division over HP Omen, CyberPower, iBuyPower, or any of the other dozens of pre-built companies out there, NYXT, etc. NZXY? I'm messing that acronym up. NY... Hold on, what the hell? Okay, they're both correct. NZXT is the pre-built company. NYXI is the Nintendo Joy-Cons that I reviewed on the channel recently. I knew that was fresh on the brain for some reason. So I mentioned in that video, the primary reason for me getting a pre-built PC was to get my hands on a 30 series graphics card, specifically the 3080, without having to deal with a scalper and pay an astronomical markup or wait several months or several years, because we didn't know at the time, when PC parts would start to level back out and come back to a normal range. On March 6, 2021, I received my R11 and did an initial review. From that point on, over the next 12 months, I made it blatantly clear that it had cooling issues, that the case or chassis as Dell calls it was extremely restrictive. It only comes with one intake fan, a 120 millimeter intake fan, one 120 millimeter exhaust fan, and a small 120 millimeter radiator AIO. And that's if you pop for water cooling, which I strongly recommend continuously that people did, because if you went the air-cooled route, the stupid PSU, which is on a metal swivel design, is right up against the CPU cooler, in essence, just blowing hot air right back into the system, which is already very tiny. So I made about 20 tutorials or so going through different cooling modifications that you can do to the Alienware, helping out the Alienware community, people that have bought these desktops either new, or maybe they got a good deal used on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, etc. Things like adding a second intake fan, applying new thermal pads and paste to the GPU, and eventually all that culminated with me doing a full case swap, which is the only full solution to the cooling of the R9 through R12, which all share the same chassis or case, is to case swap it. And that was a YouTube first, as well as perhaps an internet first, as I hadn't really found any solidified guide or tutorial of anybody case swapping in Alienware. Then the R13 and R14 came out with a fully revised case or chassis, a brand new motherboard, a whole new set of features, new IO plugs and ports, uh, a big substantial upgrade, or what appeared to be so, from the R12 and previous. I was extremely excited. I placed an order for an R13 with a 3090 and an i9, but then it became delayed with no notification from Dell. I actually had to inquire myself as to what was going on. And then from there, I've made videos in the past. These will all be linked down there in the description below, going back and forth with the Dell representatives trying to figure out what the heck was going on. I had also brought to light some rather shady business practices that they basically welcome you to the family with open arms, giving you 24-hour attention when you are purchasing a PC, but then when you need customer support or to inquire 
about an order you've already paid for that it's hard to get a hold of anybody. And after going back and forth with Dell's representatives and two concurrent delays, I canceled my order of the R13. Then I ordered a mid-range R14 off of Amazon strictly for the purpose of reviewing. I had the return label already printed out right there. The only hands-on video I have of the R14 is this one right here picture popping up in front of my face, which is an unboxing showcase of the new features and initial impressions. Shortly after uploading that video, I started using that PC daily for gaming, video editing, basic productivity, and then of course, benchmarking. And my initial excitement for what should have been a full 180 from the R12 and previous, and basically a substantial upgrade, started fading and I started realizing that this isn't the massive upgrade that's being marketed or showcased on their website. Then Gamers Nexus came out with two videos, about a week and a half apart, showcasing a teardown or disassembly of the R13, and then finally, a benchmark and review video. Following those two videos, there was a rash of comments from just a select amount of individuals. These are just multiple comments from like five or six people questioning the credibility of my Alienware videos and whatnot, which is hilarious for a couple of reasons, but the first one would be that they're all tutorials on how to fix the cooling, the janky busted low performance cooling of the R9 through R12. Keep in mind, a PC that I only purchased to get my hands on a 3080 at the time, which by the way, we're building a PC right now because the price of PC parts or components has actually leveled off to where I got every single component, a 3090 Ti, a 12th generation i9, DDR5 RAM, a 1300 watt power supply, an Asus ROG big dick motherboard. That's not the actual model name, but it's the, their top tier flagship um, at retail or actually slightly discounted and tax free on some of these parts. So I was very excited for the R13 and 14, and I've made videos showcasing all the features, the new features, the changes from the previous generation and those videos are all taking information directly from Dell's website, the reveal trailers of the R13 and R14. And myself and many other Alienware owners or potential owners were actually really excited until we actually get our hands on these units, which thank God, luckily, hopefully I can stop some of you dead in your tracks and be the one to review an R13 and R14 hands-on, as well as, of course, Gamers Nexus, maybe Jay's Two Cents, maybe Linus Tech Tips. People that can get their hands on these PCs and do a little bit of benchmarking and hands-on testing and realize that the R13 and 14, while they are a substantial upgrade from the 9 through 12, this is coming from an R11 owner that ended up fully customizing his and case swapping it to get the cooling in an acceptable realm. But now that I've had my hands on with the R14, just reviewing that, not keeping it, had canceled my personal order of an R13 due to Dell's miscommunications and just acting a little bit janky. By the way, I'm not going to get fully into details with that situation. Those videos will be linked in the description below. If you want a full, I, I talked about, you know, verbatim what me and the representative have gone back and forth with. So just to address a couple of harebrained, loose nuts, do wack do off the wall, nipple twisting, low IQ comments that I've seen. Somebody said, I wonder how much Dell is sponsoring you to positively promote their desktops, more or less. I think I'm being more articulate than he was. He was just like, oh, you freaking tard, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, if you think Dell or Alienware is sponsoring any content creators shy of 100,000 subscribers, you're high. They're a massive company that'd be like HP Omen or Asus ROG finding some 20K subscriber Andy and being like, hey, here's a $4,000 PC. You want to say some positive shit about it? And the funniest thing is if you look at the actual context of all of my Alienware videos, they're all tutorials on how to fix the cooling. So that's why it doesn't make any sense that they're like, oh, you're shilling or you're simping for Dell. Definitely not. I've even blatantly said that I find it disgusting the way I was treated as a customer. And again, keep in mind, wrapping all the way back to the Genesis or chapter one, the only reason I bought a pre-built PC was to get my hands on a 3080. So back in 2021, I openly proclaimed that it is smart to buy a pre-built PC because of the component shortage, because of scalpers and miners scooping up graphics cards left and right with bots and scripts. Fast forward to mid-2022, the theater has changed and we are almost back to normal PC prices. So now I'm back to recommending that you build a PC. And keep in mind, even when I made that video recommending that you buy a pre-built, it was specific to the situation we were in with the pandemic and the silicon shortage. If you don't want to build a PC because you do not have the knowledge or you just don't want to, you can still buy a pre-built PC. However, there are dozens, and I do literally mean dozens of companies out there that pre-assemble parts, do a little wire tuck job for you, a little cable management inside the case, put a warranty on the box, and ship out pre-built PCs. And Dell would happen to fall in the middle to slightly lower than middle if I were to rank all pre-built PCs on a tier list. 
So moving forward, I will finish my review of the R14. I will return it. It will be leaving the gamer heaven as we have two other PCs in here right now. The one I'm on right now and then the one over my shoulder. I'm open to reviewing an Alienware laptop in the future as I've never had hands-on time with one of those. As well as some of Alienware's gaming peripherals like their monitors, keyboard, mice, and headsets. Shoot, they even have a gaming chair. Maybe I'll test that bad boy out. But as far as their Aurora R line of gaming desktops, I've had my fill of experience with them. So I wanted to make this video so instead of responding to the these comments manually one by one. Just not really that many of them. There's probably like five people that are saying some off the wall stuff. I can just drop the link to this video. On a more positive note, I am doing a full PC build guide in a four part or episode series. And that is a well organized step by step build guide with chapters or timestamps. All parts or components linked in the description below. From the very beginning of preparing a build, picking PC parts on PCPartPicker.com, looking for the best price and any compatibility issues, all the way through the building process, and then what to do when you first turn your PC on such as installing your operating system, uninstalling unwanted programs or bloatware, enabling XMP in your BIOS to make sure you're getting the full speed from your RAM, running some system optimization checks and benchmarks to be able to measure your performance, and then some maintenance tips for taking care of your PC so it lasts you many years to come. This has been AK40 Kevin in the Gamer Heaven, signing out. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom control controller that'll blow the competition's tits back. AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord, and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my ph balance is on point just kidding starting june i'm going to be live streaming a lot thanks for watching this has been ak40 kevin hosting gamer heaven and i'll see you tomorrow because i upload daily all the time 60 percent of the time sometimes most of the time peace